That was the challenge. United States Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm visited Carrollton on Friday to recognize Lennox International for winning a challenge to develop a more efficient heating and cooling system. Congratulations to your team for having successfully navigated this challenge. One way the Biden administration and Granholm are tackling climate change is by reducing the amount of energy we use to heat and cool our homes, which includes better heat pumps. While pumps are already more efficient than most AC units or furnaces, what Lennox did was make them efficient in even the most extreme cases, like the five degree conditions inside this testing facility. And when they come to market, some customers will save as much as 60% on their utility bills. Why does the government need to be involved in spurring this kind of innovation when big companies are already have a profit motive to do this? We do this all the time. We set out big goals to be able to have a challenge. So, for example, we have a challenge going to reduce the cost of hydrogen. Um, we have a challenge going to reduce the cost of long-duration energy storage. We have a challenge on heat pumps. And the industry... It, it allows them to focus their efforts on these particular big challenges that we want to solve. For this challenge that Lennox won, the government did not put up any money. But for example, it is investing billions to spur development of things like a nationwide electric car charging network. And when it comes to developing new green technology, history shows that government support and investment can sustain promising ideas before and until they become profitable. We want to make sure we fill in the gaps. It's part of the infrastructure of the 21st century. In Carrollton, I'm David Schechter reporting.